My name is Carrie Bevis. I am a gynecologic oncologist that practices here at Spencer Cancer Center at East Alabama Medical Center. Uh, for ovarian cancer, it's a little bit more challenging because the, the symptoms do not occur until the cancer is very widespread. And the symptoms are, they're much more vague and are very likely attributable to other things. So common complaints that women come in with are uh, abdominal bloating, nausea, reflux, constipation or diarrhea, or sometimes both, um, very vague abdominal pain. And oftentimes those symptoms have been present for many months and they may have sought care from their primary care physician or their gynecologist or perhaps a gastroenterologist. And it's just difficult to really nail down what's going on until unfortunately the cancer is, is advanced stage. Ovarian cancer and breast cancer can run in families, but again, that is the minority of ovarian cancers. And the majority of women who have ovarian cancer do not have a family history of it. So very much so it is paying attention to your body and recognizing the symptoms. And then beyond that, I think as you talk more broadly just about GYN cancers and even, even non-GYN cancers, a healthy lifestyle with um, a well-balanced diet, regular exercise, really not only leads to just overall general health, but also can prevent many of the cancers that we treat in GYN oncology.